This is Jason Linders, uh, Senior Associate AD for Student Services and Competitive Excellence. Uh, we just wanted to thank you for taking part of this uh, recognition. Uh, obviously, your achievement and graduation uh, tomorrow is um, one of the things that drives our department, uh, from coaches to staff to administrators. Uh, your success in the classroom is, is one of our core goals uh, when we talk about uh, student first approach and personal investment. And, uh, you know, we're just proud to see your transition uh, from an undergraduate to a gra uh, college graduate. Uh, so on behalf of the athletic department, we wanted to uh, congratulate you for this special accomplishment. Uh, I'm sure as you've learned in, in the sport and, and classroom, uh, you know, these milestones are rarely achieved. And, and so want to make sure we uh, thank you for your hard work and recognize you uh, tomorrow uh, for your achievement tomorrow. Uh, obviously your parents, family, coaches, teammates, uh, professors, uh, any athletic administration that's been a part of your journey uh, and, and helped you along the way, um, you know, it's, it's, it's obviously a great achievement. And as you continue your journey, we want to make sure that uh, you're not alone. Uh, you're always part of the Cougars family. Well, first of all, you know, I would just like to thank Jorge for being part of my first official Chicago State men's golf squad when I was hired in August of 2018. Jorge was the only returning golfer on the roster. Um, so he, he was my lone warrior uh, when, I, when I got the job. But what I'd really like to do, just toss out a few accolades that Jorge uh, achieved uh, before we begin the interview. And once again, um, outstanding young man. You know, he, he, he's going to graduate with a two-year scoring average in the top 10 of all. Chicago State golfers in the history of the program, averaging uh, just a tad over 78 per round. But what was more impressive uh, is this year, or basically last year, which is this year, he uh, improved by three shots uh, and, you know, uh, is ending his career uh, season with a 76.47 uh, individual season scoring average. Also in 2019 and 20, he placed, uh, he will graduate as a top 10 individual in scoring averages also with that 76.47 scoring average. He also, which this is super impressive, he played in 37 matches or he, he had 37 18 hole rounds as a representative of Chicago State and his score counted in every single round that he played, which is very impressive. And, you know, last year, uh, the six tournaments that we played in, Jorge was low CSU golfer two times. He was second low two times and third low two times. So in our six events, he was always in the top three. I, I sort of look at Jorge as being a grinder. And that's what's most impressive about Jorge out on the golf course. He wasn't super flashy. He just got got the job done. Um, and, and sometimes he, sometimes you just got to get up and down, coach. <laughs> yeah, well, Jorge was very good at that. But mm -hmm. one of the things uh, that that you know saddens me as a coach uh, is I you know will be losing Jorge, and unfortunately, COVID nineteen did cut his season a little short. But his last two tournaments as a Cougar were his finest two tournaments. Mm -hmm. um, the second to last tournament at Savannah State, he had a career low round of even par and a 36 hole, uh, two over round. He came in sixth place as an individual in a really good division two tournament. And then our last tournament of the year, his final round, which at the time we didn't realize would be his final round, but he fired a 73 at the Alabama State Spring Classic uh, to help lead CSU to two school records that day. One was the low 18 hole round for a team. We shot plus two over par as a team. And we had a low 72 hole record of 883 uh, for the tournament. And so those are the two things I really, you know, at the time, I, I just really feel bad for Jorge because, you know, he just wasn't able, you know, he did finish on top, but once again, the COVID did shorten, 
what I consider a, a, a great two-year career at Chicago State. And once again, you know, uh, could have had a third year. And outside of that, you know, Jorge was equally impressive in the classroom, which sometimes just quietly goes. But twice he was all academic whack. And uh, depending on how his grades are this uh, last semester, I believe he'll end up with like over a, a 3.7 GPA. And, you know, Jorge was the one guy I really never had to worry about uh, his academic achievements. Um, he just always got the job done in the classroom. So, so Jorge, you know, now, now that I've buttered you up a little bit here, what advice would you give, you know, future Chicago State graduates uh, thinking like, okay, I now just graduated. What would I have done differently coming into college as a freshman? Because I know you transferred in here two years ago, but you know, what advice would you give any CSU graduate now that you've gone through, you know, four years and got your degree? Well, first, um, I feel that for incoming freshmen, the, they have to take advantage of their time. Because in my, in my example, well, I didn't know this was going to happen. So, and I didn't know that round in, in Alabama was going to be my last round ever. So, I just say I, I'm just say to to those new guys that they enjoy their time as as much as they can, and also uh, work work hard. I mean, you're here for a reason, and I believe that if you're here, you have to uh, make yourself uh, good in golf. So just work hard, and I believe that if you if you do work hard, the uh, great things are gonna come. <clears throat> Great. Now, what, you know, what important thing athletically, like what is your greatest or favorite CSU mem memory as a golfer? Um, you know, and like you said, I know, you know, I was fortunate enough to have you for six tournaments. And, you know, we did play in some tournaments together from my previous school and I always sort of appreciated uh, your hard work and your ability to grind, but what's your favorite CSU golf memory? Uh, I think my, the last tournament, the one in Alabama, because it's very important for us and for the school as well, because we broke the school record. And myself, I, I played pretty good and all the guys played pretty good. And it's a shame that like uh, the, uh, the whole season got canceled because we were playing pretty good golf. But I think that tournament special, uh, it's my favorite memory in the school because we, we broke the record and I mean, the team, we had a great chemistry. Uh, our, yeah, our team chemistry was on top in that moment. So I guess that that moment in, in February, that was in February. I think that's my favorite moment in CSU. Yeah, you know, you look back in perspective, it, it's sort of sad that the season got cut because personally as a coach, man, we were we were rolling. You guys were, yeah. you know, what I enjoyed was seeing you guys in the workout room working out, you know, three days a week, mm -hmm. uh, doing what you needed to get bigger, stronger, faster. But you guys were just cracking me up in the workout room. I mean, you guys were challenging each other to, you know, not only become – you know, better golfers, but to become better people. And, uh, you know, personally, uh, those are some of my great memories. So now let's, let's, you know, jump off the golf course. As a student at Chicago State, you know, obviously what, got any favorite memories um, as a student? Because like you said, unfortunately, you know, we started e-learning, you know, since last March and all of this, this year. Uh, but you have any good memories as a student? Yeah, I got and especially my first year because I was new and I mean I didn't know ever, uh, anyone here. But I mean, the all the professors here they they received me with, with their hands open, and well, it was it was a pleasure to be a student here in Chicago State, and I just want to thank everybody for this opportunity, especially you, Mark Haynes and all the professors for their help and 
my teammates my first year and my uh, my whole teammates in this year. It's been a great journey here and thank you for everything. Well, you know what I noticed is, you know, when I took over the program, Adrian Torres, who is one of your better friends now, uh, you know, you're from Colombia and he came from Spain and you guys had a great relationship and he was, you know, an assistant coach last year. And I just remember going to Adrian and says, you know what, you and Jorge have a great relationship. All right, you, you go out and take care of Jorge. Um, so a lot of my coaching style was you felt very comfortable when Jorge was out there walking with you. Um, and you guys had a great relationship and that's a, a friendship that I think will remain, you know, uh, for a long, long time. Um, and that's what I, you know, college athletics is about is building relationships, uh, with your teammates. Um, now, you know, that you've got that diploma coming in, you know, what, what is your career goal right now? And is it any different than when you came here as a transfer, you know, when you transferred in here, what was your goal? And now that you're getting your diploma, what, what are your career goals? Well, the goal before college and during college was the same thing. It was just pay my school with my golf skills. And now that I'm graduating and I'm entering to the to the workforce, to the, to the real world, you know, uh, I just want to gain some experience. Uh, I'm going to take advantage of my uh, OPT, which is my work uh, permit here in the States. And after that, um, I just want to I just want to try to uh, be successful as possible and try to uh, make it to the best businesses and best companies in the world. Well, you know, I know your work ethic in the classroom and on the golf course were were phenomenal and you know what as a coach I would love to have six or seven Jorge Garzans out there because then I wouldn't have to worry about academics. I wouldn't have to worry about a kid working hard at the range, working, you know, on his short game, things like that. You know, you did all the little things out on the, the golf course that I think our new players that came in, you know, you were a quiet leader. Um, and that that's what I think the team appreciated most about you is, you know, you could always rely on Jorge coming in, you know, with, with a good, good score for the team. And, the other thing is you were a great teammate. You were always there encouraging your teammates, you know, um, to do better, to get better at what they're doing. And, and those are the, the, the accolades I'm going to give you as a coach. So now what, what's your next step, man? You're, uh, you know, you're, you're graduating. Um, I know in prior conversations, you're looking to pick up an internship somewhere. Um, you've had a few interviews, I think you've mentioned to me, but, um, you know, are you going to stay in Chicago, head elsewhere, you know, right now, uh, you know, besides the fact that you're going to get your diploma on December 17th, what, what's, uh, what are you going to do? Stay in Chicago, go to Philly, Florida, where you have family. What's next? Yeah, for now, I'm just, uh, I'm going to stay here. I'm going to, I'm going to stay here in Chicago for one year for my OPT. I'm going to stay here. And after that, hopefully I love this city and I love this place and the people around me. So after the, the year of work that I'm gonna that I'm gonna take, I'm gonna try to stay here for uh, grad school. Hopefully, in one of the top schools here in Chicago, maybe in Illinois. But that's uh, that's what I have in mind: uh, work and then grad school. So uh, move on and uh, further your education. Because I think you, you indicated your dad uh, works at a university in Columbia, correct? That's correct, yes. Right. So you come from a family of uh, educators, which is awesome. Jorge, so, Jorge what, uh, what graduate program are you looking at? Uh, for now, marketing. Marketing? Okay. Yeah. There's anything we can do to, you know, letters of recommendation or anything? Uh, I don't speak for Coach Haynes, but I'm sure we would uh, we'd love to provide that for you if we can help you. Yeah, that would, that would be great. Uh, I would appreciate that a lot. And then, and then basically, Jorge, you know, um, last of all, you know, what 
are you going to miss most about being at CSU, uh, being part of the golf team, being part of the Cougar family? Um, you know, what do you think you're going to miss the most? Well, I mean, this is my life. I've been doing this uh, my whole life, pretty much. And I believe, like, getting up in the morning and going to workouts, then going to to the range and hit balls, that's what, I, that's what I'm going to miss the most. Like, the daily routine of golfing, the tournaments, traveling with the guys, the relationships that I that I made here, because CSU is a, it's a very diverse place you 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 meet people from all over the world and every semester guys from tennis uh, soccer from all over the world they come and you meet these guys from Europe or Australia so I guess that just meeting new people and just the golf experience in general traveling with the boys and just going to range that's uh, that's just uh, something I love to do and I'm gonna really miss it. Right, I mean, I just noticed on campus you had friends from the women's volleyball team, you had friends from soccer, and obviously when we started our season, nobody knew anybody that, that, that day and all of a sudden we've got, you know, Josh coming in from Australia, you got Keegan coming in from, you know, Southern uh, Illinois, yeah. you had uh, Nelson who came in from Australia, you had Kevin Bullington, who's quite a character, you know, came in uh, from my old school. And, and, and Isaac uh, also came in. So I guess from a coaching point of view, I just love the fact that you accepted these guys with open arms. And realistically, as a group, I mean, you guys hung around together. You did things together. You practiced together. You laughed together. You know, and uh, you guys learned together. And, and you know, as a coach, I just want to thank you so much uh, for being part of my first team, um, making my job um, a little easier. I was like a deer in headlights when I took the program over. And, and like you said, if, if I'm ever going to have any regrets as a coach, is it, just not being able to, you know, you did finish on a highlight, but we didn't know that was going to be your highlight of your career and I know you know we would have just we were just growing and even you know with this season uh, not being able to play in the fall I know you worked hard over the summer and we're ready to roll and and you know just as in the classroom you're always prepared and the same thing on the golf course and I am sure um, when you get into the uh, as I always call it the real world that you're going to be prepared be at grad school or your next future job. So I personally, Jorge, and I've already expressed it to you, um, you're always going to have a special place in my heart um, at Chicago State. And it's, you know, you just did your job by actions. Um, and that's what I appreciated most um, as a student athlete. Like you said, you got the job done in the classroom, two-time all whack, scoring-wise, you know, uh, I believe uh, you're like number five or six on the individual scoring, which uh, will always be there. And uh, once again, um, you'll always be part of uh, the Cougar family. Uh, Jason, anything else to add? No, that's uh, it. And just uh, like we said before, good luck with everything. And uh, congratulations again. And uh, stay in touch. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you to CSU and the athletic department, and especially you, Coach Haynes for making this experience uh, way better. It's been a great two years here in Chicago State, my last two years. Well, my last year here was my favorite. We we played great tournaments. Uh, you made this experience uh, awesome, Coach. I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. And thank you so much. No, love you, man. Thank you. Uh, once again, you know, you're, you, you, will be the start of something great that I feel is gonna happen with the golf golf, pro golf program. And I will always hold you dear to my heart. And as you know, we'll stay in touch and, and we'll roll on. And like you said, good luck with your internship. As Jason said, if you need anything from me or, or the school, let us know. But uh, once again, uh, so proud that uh, you know, you're gonna get that degree 
which is the aim of all student athletes. And once again, you were a student first and worked equally hard in the classroom on the golf course. So I'm giving you a double thumbs up for a, uh, I'm gonna shed a little tear because like I said, uh, you've meant a lot uh, to, to uh, my program here and to the men's golf program. And you should be really proud of your accomplishments. Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll roll through this COVID and uh, we'll just keep marching forward and go Cougars. Thank you so much.